got the LMG played up, and you'll just see all the utility from PZD will be dumped in. But Aces gets one. Psycho is aware that there's one playing on stairs. Julia will take out Neo Fighter. Plant going down somewhat successfully, but no, Aces sees him. Aces coming in. Can he get it? Two big kills from Aces. He sees another. A third. Aces. Oh my goodness! In a one v one. Will he live? He'll get off the plant. The Maestro will shoot away at the walls, but this is a bad oh, decision, oh, but Aces, oh my god, how does this happen? Katzang getting softened up, there goes Grixer as well, and all of a sudden it's Kanzen, but a beautiful double play, trying to ride out the final four seconds, he has no idea where that diffuser is, SMG up, they're watching in this position, as he goes to swing out, there's both Coded and Katzang watching from this angle, Kanzen, are you a miracle worker? You only need one more, Katzen. and there it is, one of the best! plays that we've seen at this tournament! Nip have been having, if they don't have drones, figuring out where people are. He's wasting time. There you have it. Retro takes out Psycho Wog with two. Wog with three as Julio goes for the plant, but Laxing on the best no. play in 2019! An easy one tap onto Julio! And he'll go all the way around, and now Pino will need to plant. Oh no! Another flank for Laxing! Come on! Come now! It's now Breed A that picks up a very important kill on Tanae as well. It's a 2 and 4 situation in DCH. It's in 10 HP still, as Nerex picks up the first kill on the side of Elevate. 4 situation in DCH. is in 10 HP. Thanks to those traps. 13 seconds left. The attackers are pressured for time. Rips gets cameraman. Astro responds onto Corey. And it's just back and forth here. Gohan, though, with the knife on KS. Aces from the hallway will get Astro. Gohan, a second one for himself, but Aces shuts him down. Zero on the clock, but the diffuser has been planted. The pistol from Aces! What is happening? Arglis against all odds will clutch. Got some work to be done if they want to go up by four. Nitrocell shot away as Maya defends this black mirror looking towards Snowmobile. Smoke will clear. Maya stops it in its tracks. But it's Maya in a 1v2, gets time for the reload with the Vector, that's huge. But needs to square up his body, no. only a single one left! Maya with one of the best clutches of the turn! Peril yet again. Zig and Gohan will have to do great work, but no, the shotgun from Hetty 3 shot Sig is there for the retrade. Take out Hetty, the refrag rather. Sweet Black waiting to drop, uh -oh. knows that he's got Zig, and Zig is too vulnerable. Tons of time left, but no! Oh! Sweet Black! How do you take so long? Zig gets it when he really should. You need to defend the top floor of Oregon. That's that's it. Those are the two positions. So with three lit EG players and only 30 seconds left, this is totally doable. Necrox will get Onichan because Nelio unable to hold the flank. A second though for Nelio. After finishing off Necrox, he also gets BC on Repel. He has the Diffuser down. He spots the Zofia, goes for the pre-fire, misses the shots, but follow-up will be successful. The final attacker, Young, on the hallway window is going to vault in and go for the fight. Nelio has such a distinct advantage right now with HP, and he will win it. Ten seconds. If he can try and isolate this into two fights, Ooh. the Maestro Bubbles are giving him the read. There's one, and he's down. He's looking for the second. He Ooh. finds him. Oh! He's back low, baby! Pambazoo now going for a move to try and get into a better position with said kit. Then Red Pigs, the playoff! Couldn't hit the shots! Knife! And for Dark Zero, surely this is the moment! The very moment! Unless always! Are you serious? I cannot believe what I've just seen! Are you kidding me? 20 seconds left to go, and BDS, they need to make a move and do something, and that's exactly what Breed A does onto Hyper. Skies manages to get one, but you feel at this point like it's likely an impactless no. kill. One versus two, 10 seconds left to go. The diffuser is down, Des. Skies could play for time here. <gasps> no way is he pulling this back. Got the 3K, it's Shai going in the This is one piece around the corner, can't quite find it. Time's about to run out. Skies has clutched that up something special. Three man stack currently for Penta as they try to push their way into the armory wall. It's had a CC. TV and there go the Kendellas from Hungary launching him out and he's gonna rush straight through the hole that he, uh, his Ash had made. Two blind, trying to go for three. Hungry will get them all. Looking in for four. Hungry, he gets the edge. Hungry! Hungry, you are absolutely wild. And Penta bring one back. All the stops here, as you said, the Nomad in line. Oh, they're going especially for it. They're going oh, for yes, it. they are. Immediately in and planting. And they've got full sight control. Dark Zero, you gotta do something here. Uno is going to be able to hold this down not only with a massive capacity on that LMG job. What the hell was that? <laughs> 
Double Nitro Cell! Things you don't see, but definitely an expected result here in round eight after what we just saw with Heroic and this opener. Very exciting stuff as Benjo will go down in that trade, but Sloth, he's got the sauce at the current Ooh. moment, and he'll advise Nade. There's no way that Dark Zero can close it out like this. Uno, he has the Overwatch with this utility. He's gonna be able to burn out all of this time and time again, and really no opportunity for them to do anything at the current moment. Uno's down to the smoke. That's it, and three with three seconds, seconds remaining, wait, wait. Hyper's got to stick it. Somebody has to get on case. He has to hold it Too from late. this point on. One dead, two down, and that's it. Heroic able to pick up the round off of such an aggressive play that Grizzly shoots Gorgona in the back of the head to end it. There's only 40 oh. seconds left. Rexon, he's made his way in, though. He's going for another oh. one. What a headshot. Rexon and Super together have made this nigh impossible for Envy Taylor. He is gonna have to ace as the plant is going down. One of the most experienced and oldest players at the tournament with the game resting on his shoulders. A chance now to get their first point of the tournament. Oh, he no. sees the feed, it's a 1v1. Can he ace oh! up? What is that from Envy Taylor? The 1v3. Ace! Hey, Kanto has no choice but to move in and just absolutely tank the damage from the laser gate and there's more damage flying in there as Miracle and Heiz find themselves kills. It's oh, all down to Citizen no, 1v3. Citizen. No. no! He does it! Unbelievable play from Citizen as he manages to get in with a triple kill. Two. He could juice himself up and go crazy, but he's going to get pushed by Papilia all the way down the hall by vending machines. Merc has gone undetected so far. Oh, he finds Papilia. The reflexive shot through the wall, hoping for a lucky wall bang. He's got 30 seconds to hold on while Nora Rengo will come from the same angle. The Sophia will walk and distract him perfectly. Oh my! Merc, the goodness, the gracious, and the shots as he. Wait, I didn't even see it. As Kino's not doing anything, Empire have made this plan go down right on the breach. And OXG have to retake in the three versus four. Empire take post plant positions. Yoka looks to get aggressive. Nice shot there onto Always, though. 3v3. For Oxygen, as they start oh no. to stick this, there needs to be some plankton oil. Yoga can just hold on, Scyther has to deny it, he does! Vertical, it's a 1v2 for the man as he rounds the corner, makes it a 1v1. On to Dan now, the last player to hold on. And he's gonna fake it, three ticks, as Dan <gasps> shut down! Vertical, I think he just has time! A shockwave still holds down the south balcony outside of the master windows. Yeah, Pasha still on the road state with 35 left. And a what? giant run out here, but he downs him with the bearing. Pasha left on one HP, throws a flashbang at him for good measure. Just to add insult to injury. They come soaring up the stairs and make sure Pasha doesn't have time to establish an angle after the plant is completed. They push right through one another, but Pasha on the pull off and the pre fire. And Ren Shiro has the double, but they only have 10 seconds. Shaiko digs his way up close to Bride. Locks up one more. Alamau, he's able to find one more. The diffuser is cold. He's on the floor with a shotgun. Pick back up and drop. But so oh, Alamau! Alamau! Monitored, and that's three for Psycho. All of the kills for his team in this round. Retro and Laxing now, the last two defenders, and they will have to return to site. Laxing's got a whole bunch of wooden barricades to go with. He's completely boxed out for the time being. It's not like the old clubhouse where he can just go for a very quick rotate outside. Julio getting the diffuser down quite successfully. Laxing might be able to catch this Ash off guard if he peeks around the corner properly. There you go, say goodbye to Psycho, but diffuser goes down successfully. And where is Retro? Oh, Retro. Top of the stairs heading up over oh. towards Jim. He's gonna get wogged down and a 2v2 in what is a very tense matchup. The longest gun in the game in the C7E, and Retro might actually win oh. this! Oh, oh. gets Kamikaze down! Oh. And it's a big clutch as Reciprocity somehow managed to make it work! Sky shouting to the sky! Start rushing, that's exactly what they're doing. Wizard surely gets the kill onto stage. He will, that's three in the round. Jane I know could have something to say about it. He's gonna have to. No way. It's one versus three. It's one versus one after a quick double. And with the time ticking down, there's absolutely no choice. Pino, he has to stick this Jane I know can't get the angle. Can he see him as he comes off that diffuser? Pino uses oh his experience. He keeps himself down, no, but he raises him. his legs out. Jane I know spots as much as he needs to. And we're going to overtime!
wild players holding out the sort of co-ITL pairing the swing onto the Oster Shield. They've got themselves in the grenade. That's no. gonna backfire. 35 seconds remaining now, but it's gonna be a long angle. No, he drone hold him. What was that from Imarin? Looking for the bullet holes. Nello will get one though as Derpe peeks on up, but everyone's stacking by the face, awaiting the approach for Nello. No utility left. Diffuser in hand in a 1v3 in the midst of a crossfire. Gets one on a diesel and a second one on Amaran. Nello! Are you kidding me? The 1v4! Navi! Get a rotate around. There's runes over there if you want to talk to the rest of your team. Now he's going to go on in. Clutch or kick, we'll see Indeed. if KS can win this one here as he holds up a close angle in the blue bar. They know where he's at. Or the 1v1! Oh my god! Better than the first three. One thing that's important is there's only two people on A. So if Skies can actually make a good push through the main hallway, it's possible he could completely destroy this defense and simply shift the attack onto the A bomb site. He's gonna have to make a play though. He can't just sit here. He will take out England oh, through the fight. barricade. And Skies gets a second onto Vandal who is trying to support his teammates. Mark goes in for the plant behind the bomb, but the C4 still below. Ghost will deny it. Well placed indeed, and there we go. Rises, gamble, pays off. But look at the HP and manpower here. Easy sight control here for Skies, who gets his third in the round. He's going for the fourth, and he'll get it. Ghost, the last one alive. The clutch player, if he can hold this off, but he's only got 30 seconds. An excellent shot there on the retro. Catching the flank, but it's the ace from Skies. And Reciprocity take yet another round, four in a row. You cannot contest him for the front, but Ooh. he still has to remember, well. Habana just already opened this position. They have not opened the mirror window. Now they'll get info and Waka will oh. spot him right through the mirror window. Unfortunately oh. here for easily, this is an angle that he might be able to contest. No, unfortunately, he takes just a bit of damage there. A walk, I guess, the second one. Eclipse, though, will get one. Turning it into a 2v2. Now they push it on the site. The Bandit will lose out on this. Eclipse, the last alive on the Ella. He spots the head and takes him down. Ace for Waka? At least the 4K. What a ace for it looks like that Arsenal drop might be a really good take. A lot of pressure on Biologic, but he's eliminated by Fultz. That's two for Fultz in this round. TSM is falling apart in their comfort zone. Where can they find success? Pojo Man gets the first kill. The gas canister not denying. The second one will have to come out, and that will be successful. Chala comes off the stick, and he's eliminated by Pojo with the only kills for his team. Achieved on low HP, Pojo Man sees a third. He gets it. Nice shot. SMG 11, such limited ammo, but he can find two more. And oh, Bojo Man's absolutely insane. He's going for the fifth, but he doesn't even need it. The time. What a clutch from Bojo Man. Perfectly. Plant likely to go down from Nazgul, but Virtue could still win it in a post. Rounding this next corner, he'll get two kills for free, but the Diffuser goes down on the ground. It's a one versus two retake for Virtue now. Just two players left. He has some information, but he's going to keep playing this. Oh, the game. That's a triple kill for Virtue. Just one left. Jam and Virtue. Jam has the ACOG in this long range encounter, but we know Virtue, he's just so good. Jam has to play this perfectly and patiently. Exposed position, Virtue wants to wide peek this. He's baiting it with the shoulder peek. He lands the shot. That's an insane play of one versus four retake on the post plant. C4 kill, Kanto gets Brid, but Brid responds onto Kanto. And now again, still a defender in the site, and that's gonna be Uno who gets Bibu. And as Spark gets pushed on, he is very wisely not getting the initial frag. It's a triple kill! Wilkie now! And they each take 10 seconds off. Canadian's still outside, though, as he now has blue bar control. But he could get fragged out if Bolo swings at the proper time. But he's playing patiently. They need to get the diffuser kit down. They're all hopping inside. This could be it. Fultz with a big kill. It's all down to Bolo, the man, the myth, the legend. Can he possibly do it? He has the hot mark. Bolo, you have to be able to get the last kill. Can he do it? He does! <laughs> Bolo with the ace in the very last round! Really down him. It's you and Mav all alone outside, but Young all alone on his roster as he's gonna end up picking up three kills! Oh my god, what is that? Young quad kill! Who does that? Here for Joyce to call by himself, and yes, I have another criticized him a couple of times. Today's been a good day for him. That's also a pretty big one, given the fact that we're down to 10 seconds and he smokes it out as well. All he's got to do is live, but he's got five bullets left. Has to go for the reload. Does anyone even know where he is here? They have the diffuser back in their hands. That smoke has now been recovered away. Citizen goes down as well. Joystick, you're basically in a glorified 1v1 for a few seconds. Can he get no way does he get it? How on earth have they let that happen?
Ren. Kite is still in effect. Citizen collects upon to Milan. Four versus two. Now he's going to go for a run around. It is here. We spoke earlier about the potential spoiler that these things could bring. Do they even know? They must have an idea. He just drops it. Kite in a one versus two. He comes out. Goes for the spray. Oh. Downs him. Has he just saved the game? Oh, they run around. Kayak has held it out. The plan's going down. They've saved it out. He gets him. Kayak has clutched it for them in the final round. You can see him shouting. I'm out of a chair as well. Oxe picks up another kill on the shuttle as Rogue is just going to peek everything. Slash tosses out one toxic babe, but he's a man on an island. He'll get it down on the mark, and there's still smoke there to possibly stop a push, but he's going to get doubled up on. Slash takes out Foxe, pulls out the shotgun. They're going to need to go for a plant. Mark's coming out. He just needs to sit oh. and hide, but the time is in their oh! favor. Slash! You just what? need to live, Cloud9! What are you doing? What? NBK down BC. It's 2-2. Pengu and Fabian left. Two of the best known players on that team. Our captain sufficient, Fragger, Fabian down. It's Pengu, Defender the Ash, just the waiting. Defender. Or rather, the Hibana, just waiting. They'll look to push together. The diffuser in a position where they'll have to see when the Hibana goes through. One will cover the doorway as they start to diffuse. Pengu goes for one on the young. Can he go the second? They're off the known as the best team in the world. He could shoot them at shot right, short range with the shotgun. Doesn't look like it will. Meanwhile, wow. Red's actually going for the plant sinister. They need to be mindful of this and try and deny it. 30 seconds on the board. The denial isn't there. Moloska's close, but doesn't quite see it. The diffuser has gone down. Nico flanks and gets one. It is a three on five post plant sinister. Still well and truly in this round. Milo gets one. Doesn't see the no player way. on the floor. Does finally down him though. And now it's left up to Jero to try and hold the bomb from above. Two thirds left in that diffuser. He has a really nice angle inside of engine. Sinister are going to basically be forced to go above. He gets the first. The call out shoots. Oh! Out there. He gets the second onto Vinny. No the way! third onto Nico. It's now a one on two. The diffuser is still there in position. Luna's going to get her head taken off as well. Oh! That's the quad kill. But the trade comes out there from Fisher. Will he have time though to get towards the diffuser? It's going to be super, super tight. He might just get it. It's going to be really close. He hit, gets on it. Seven second counter defuse, of course. It's going to be really tight. That counter is going down. He might get it in. No oh, way! No way! <laughs> the clutch! That's a one versus five clutch! You've got his teammate Eclipse watching if there's a push through security. Skies will take out Slash, though, and look at this. Eclipse with one, two for Eclipse. Oh, this is winnable. They will need to defuse, and the time running out, but Eclipse, he'll oh! trade! But Rogue will take it! A trade to finish things off! It's got this piss. What? This is Oh, this is not a great position to be in. At least Pino can land two nice shots. Hello. And now Raps going in for a kill, looking to push. And he gets punished as well. How has this happened, Jess? A five versus two has become a two versus two. Thanks to some gnarly shots from Pino. Him and Julio to hold on. Do MIBR get aggressive here? Do they take their time? and work together, Reduct is in, but the player's watching him, Pino, with the 4K, Filippo is the last one left, Pino's looking for the ace, the save for- No, Nesk is still on the back, he'll fire in, he'll get a lot of damage down, a Cyber will fall, and Sexy Cake will be the one to fall right after him. 1v3 as there's 10 seconds on the clock, and no air jabs left, but Nesk, the clutch champion, is coming in. There's a lot of holes he'll have to deal with. The Meister's already down. Four seconds left on the clock, and Ness, he does it! Team Liquid will get the round off the back of the greatest clutcher in Latin American history. What an absolute beast. Difficult for him to spot. The diffuser will get set. Pengu knows where all this fire is coming from. He drops down, but no, a bit too slow on the return. Redgrove is one, he gets two kills. And that's a 3k for him. Can he get the fourth? Cantor he's already upstairs. A lot of fire down into Redgrove, and there's not much that he can do. He still has the Nitro Cell to chuck. Can he find it? The kill comes out. What? Redgrove, he clutches it. Cantor going down. I cannot believe it. The 4k from Redgrove. Here, oh. Min is going to peek out and kill the Thermite. That's cookies. Now, which is Mint does see the other one. T Marks as well oh, is very aware smoke. of it. He is stuck in the smoke. He's going to try to duke on over here. Mint's going to go for the shot. He gets another kill right on a T Marks. That gas grenade was a perfect coordination. <laughs> a Mint. triple kill here by Mint. Dropping yellow for the count. He's going to go for another. Can he get down? Oh. He can. Can he get the ace? He's going here for Mint. The but he gets it. Mint's going to get the ace here and have his team go to match point on Cafe. Oh, the first ace of... Penta are just taking their sweet time before that final play, oh, but blank. Hicks from below, this is, my, this is not something they've been looking for. What is he waiting for? No, what are you doing? No, 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 Hicks, no! No! <laughs> Shut 
Dante gets the kill. Wow. Falling down, but Paulo and Moringa taking a handful of damage apiece as they all collect back in towards that diffuser in front of the white van. Beautiful shot there from Bolo as he ducks and darts around that car outside. Nesk on the trade though, but everyone at Liquid solo HP. Everyone's wrapping it up. It's all Paulo alone now in the 1v2 to keep Liquid alive. As he comes down, yellow stairs. There's no two kills for TSM as they burst into the site. Bosco flushed out. Rampy to Bolo with three kills. Oh my word. And it's Canadian down below, isolated. He'll walk oh. right into Geo and he wins the fight, but he will have to find the diffuser. He doesn't have the nitro oh. cell available. He will miss time it. They'll be able to get out of there very effectively. Bad timing for Canadian. He sees one on drone, softens up the floor, but this is an almost unwinnable task for him. I can't believe how TSM was just able to bulldoze their way into the site. This retake from Canadian will be tough. Bolo's on only a tiny bit of HP. Down goes Merc. Bolo's one shot away. Will Canadian oh clutch? Oh my god! No way he pulls that off and the diffuser is his. He knows he has plenty of time. And I'd imagine you gotta be pumped with that one. Too many times Rogue get the opener and then find themselves 4-2 down as Faze just chip away and take one man at a time. Here comes Kanto on the flank. Shut down in bathroom by Souls. 4v1, Deepak manages to get one, but it's likely to be his last. No, manages to find a second. It's 1v2 now. He's got about 15 HP, but there is a chance. The diffuser's down as well. That's the big one for him. Stepping across here. They held the angle, but Deepak, Big ET could go huge here. The 1v1, cameraman stepping out far into the distance to look for a plant, and Deepet should know about it. He's holding tight, knows that this plant is going down, but can he get there in time? Cameraman's going to complete. Big ET finds a huge 4K. In so far, it's been incredible. It feels like all of these players have had a long day down at Spoons, and they've come out windmilling like an Englishman looking for a scrap, but talking of a scrap. Pino, the Punisher himself, poised for perfection as they all run in. They had an appointment with the Doc and he thought he'd treat all of his patients at once. Through the smoke, he busts open their lips. Wisely, they're not provoking any engagements at all. <laughs> <laughs> say hello and say goodbye for Uno threading that needle. Best but it's all about the angles that he can hold here. Deny them on the entry point, and this is a cheeky drop oh, as well. God. If he can just hold that, literally half a second earlier, could have found himself a kill. Look, <laughs> he will catch him. He will catch him. There we go. That down he goes. It's dokey. Goodbye. For player, plant should go down. The only question is, are they watching the piano flick? No, he's just got to wait this out. This is so perfect from Vert. The trigger discipline is amazing. Just runs away. Nitro Cell as well. Pops that for another kill. It's the clutch from Vert as Skies has the wrong info. He's chasing him the wrong way. Oxygen steal that round right out of the hands of Dark Zero. Pump up the quality of the round. If he wants to gun them down, the peak was perfect, but he doesn't land the shot onto the second man. He had a smart read, but now he's panicking. With 40 seconds, a 1v3 in this manner, it's not looking likely. Certainly not. He's had two attempts on the man on the rotation, but just not been able to shut him down either time. He's thinking about that window jump out. Doesn't have a C4. Can only go in through the window. Manages to get one onto BNX. Surely he's going to be shut down any minute now. Lines of sight are being held as soon as he goes anywhere near that diffuser. And they hear that disable animation coming in. They will look to pounce now. He's bouncing on and off. Gets one. That's an unbelievable headshot. Can he get oh. himself another? Surely he can. He's going to move around. Has he got time? Yes, surely. This is going to be an absolute fraction of a second, but I'm certain it was just before the seven second mark. And that oh. is an unbelievable clutch coming in. Was that one versus four at a point, Jackie? Certainly one versus three.